Linen is an amazing and popular fabric to sew with. Stay tuned to find out more information about different types of linen and my top tips for sewing with it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. And I'm here today with a video all about linen and how to sew with it. I've done a few of these videos now about how to sew with different types of fabric. I do them in collaboration with Lamazi Fabrics, so they provide me with a fabric to sew with, I sew up a project, and then I plan and film a video all about that type of fabric and my top tips of sewing with it. I do have a playlist where all of those videos are and I will link to it down below, so if you'd like to check any of those out then please do. You will just be able to see one of my cats, Ziggy, cleaning herself in the background. <laughs> you know, what can you do? Right, let's get started. I'll talk a little bit about what I'm wearing further on in the video. This is the project that I have sewn up for this video, but you'll find out more about that later. So linen is a textile which is made from very fine fibres that come from the flax plant. These fibres are very carefully extracted, they're then spun into yarn and then woven into fabric. It is a natural fibre and it's one of the least environmentally damaging textiles that there are, but the manufacturing process is very lengthy, time consuming and expensive, so that does result in linen being a more expensive fabric. It's one of the very earliest textiles that was produced thousands and thousands of years ago. Europe, and more specifically Belgium, is known for producing very high quality linen, but China is actually the world's largest producer of linen currently. So when we think about linen, there are many different types of linen fabrics that we can work with. You have your pure linen fabrics, where it's just linen and it's not combined with anything else. And then you have your linen blend fabrics, where linen has been taken and then combined with another fibre to produce this type of fabric. So if we start off thinking about pure linen, which is just 100% linen, you can either have that as unwashed or the more popular type that you'll find to work with in terms of garment sewing would be washed linen. And that might be enzyme washed, stone washed, mill washed. Stone washed linen is where the fibres are washed with pumice or volcanic stones. This bashes the fibres and makes them more supple and soft. And this type of linen has a slub finish. Enzyme washed linen is as it says on the tin, it's washed with enzymes and this is a more gentle washing method which prevents damage to the fabric. This produces a supple and soft medium weight fabric, again with a slub finish and a really wonderful handle. And then mill wash linen is a mechanical washing process. This softens the linen without the use of enzymes or chemicals or water wastage, so it makes it more environmentally friendly. This is a really high quality fabric and it's medium weight again. An example of this would be the Nisa softened linen, which is on the Lamazi Fabrics website in a whole range of colours. So then if we move on to linen blends, which as I said is where the linen is taken and combined with another type of fibre to produce the fabric. You can have a linen viscose blend, so that viscose content makes it more drapey and it feels lovely and soft against the skin. You can combine linen with cotton and that just makes it a bit more lightweight and a bit more fluid than pure linen. A popular blend that Rifle Paper Company use is a canvas cotton linen blend. This has a really tight diagonal weave and it's more suitable for structured garments like dungarees, pinafores, skirts, that sort of thing. And then you've got a tensile linen blend, which is actually what I have used. So tensile or liosyl. Those words are used interchangeably and if you want to know more information about tensile or liosyl then I would direct you to the Love to Sew podcast. They had an episode quite recently and it's all about that type of fabric and it gives you so much information so I'll link to that down below. I would highly recommend checking that episode out. It's really really useful. So this is a more environmentally friendly blend of fabric and the tensile content adds a really luxurious drape to the fabric. And as I say, that's what I've used here. So I'm just going to show you the Lamazi Fabrics website now and how you can find all of their linen fabrics. So if we just go to lamazifabrics.com and then along the top of the screen you've got the different options and if we click on fabric and scroll down to fabric by type 
and you'll see there it's in alphabetical order you've got linen and linen mix so if you click on that currently there's 100 products I usually like to sort the fabric by new to old and actually looking at that that option's not there so this must already be in new to old order and we can see the different linen fabrics that Lamazi stock it's got lots of lovely printed linens here these are viscose linen fabrics so they would have that lovely drape making them suitable for a more flowy garment like a dress for example or a nice blouse here we've got the range of fabrics that I have worked with so it's the slub linen with tensile fibres these come from Pigeon Wishes and the colour that I used is this emerald green colour here which is beautiful but I really like all of the colours of those we keep going we've got some stretch linen viscose so you'll have that lovely drape but also a little bit of stretch in the fabric just for added comfort would we'll make it ideal for a jumpsuit maybe or some trousers or shorts if we keep going we've got the atelier brunette linens which are actually a linen cotton blend and then here we've got the start of the enzyme washed linens which Lamazi have got in quite a few different colours we'll go on to the second page you can see there lots more enzyme washed linens and just from the photos there you can see that lovely slub texture we keep going there's some of the rifle paper company canvas linen fabrics and then these are the Nissa softened linens so these are the mill washed linens and these are Mind the Maker and they're really high quality you can see by the price point they are a bit more expensive but you pay for that additional quality again a huge range of colours for those we'll go on to the third page love that leopard pink linen viscose there that's stunning We've got some more viscose linen blends, some cotton blends, some more stretch linen viscose, and then this flow range, which is a viscose linen blend. Lamazi have that in a few colours as well. and then some nice printed linen viscose blends on the last page there. So as you can see, an absolutely huge range of linens and different types of linens that you can work with. So I hope that in my explanation just before, I've kind of explained the different types of linens a little bit more for you. But also I've written a blog post for Lamazi Fabrics all about inspiration for sewing with linen. And I've given some examples of patterns and garments that you could make with those different types of linen. So I will link to that blog post down below and hopefully you'll find that useful if you're still unsure about which linen to go for for which garment. So linen is a really popular fabric and it has many benefits. It's very, very versatile. So some of the benefits of linen are it's light and it's breathable. So it allows air through, which makes it ideal for wearing in warmer climates or for wearing during the warmer months. It really helps to wick that perspiration away from the skin, making it really comfortable and cool to wear. It's a soft and smooth fabric. And actually the more that you wash linen, the softer it becomes. So again, it makes it a really comfortable fabric to wear. Linen holds its shape really well so as you wear and wash it it's unlikely to stretch and become misshapen which is great. We don't want our clothes to stretch out of shape over time. As mentioned earlier it's an environmentally friendly textile. Compared to other fabrics it doesn't require much water or chemicals and that makes it a bit more eco-conscious. It's hypoallergenic which means it's a bit more skin friendly. It's quite unlikely that it's going to cause irritation even to people with very sensitive skin. And linen is actually one of the world's strongest fibres so it makes it a really strong and durable fabric. It also actually gets stronger when it's wet so your garments that are sewn in linen are going to hold up really well to lots of washing. There are some downsides to linen so I thought I would mention those now. The main one I guess is that it wrinkles and I think 
you just have to embrace that. I think the benefits really outweigh the fact that it does wrinkle. And those wrinkles are a small price to pay for that added comfort that you get. And also the other downside I would say is that it is more expensive. As mentioned earlier, it is quite resource and time intensive in terms of production. So that results in a higher price, but it also does result in a higher quality of material as well. So we'll have a little think about sewing with linen. So the project that I worked on, as I say, is this one, and this is the Helen's Closet March Top. It's one of Helen's most recent releases, it comes as a top and as a dress. And the fabric I used, this green fabric, is the Slub Linen with tensile fibres, and it's a Pigeon Wishes fabric. So the composition of this is actually 70% tensile and 30% linen. From the website, the description says that it has a discreet slub texture in the weave where some threads are thicker which add a lovely texture. The surface is soft and matte and it drapes with the softness of the tensile, held back a little with the more stiff appearance from the linen fibres. It will however soften up when washed and worn. And as you can see I've actually combined the fabric with this which you may recognise is a Rifle Paper Company design and this is a rayon. I purchased this from Lamarzi Fabrics a while ago, I just had it in my stash but I thought it would be a really striking contrast and the March top and dress has this panel on the front and on the back and that allows you to play around with a feature panel if you would really like to. Lamarzi Fabrics do stock a huge range of Rifle Paper Company fabrics, so if you wanted to do something similar, you'd be able to look for a linen fabric and then find one of the Rifle Paper Company designs that contrast or that match really well, and you could either recreate this look or you could play around with those fabrics yourself. In terms of working with linen, it is a real joy to sew with. It doesn't slip around or move around very much, which is great. And it doesn't require particularly delicate handling, so that's really useful as well. There are some tips that I'm going to give you that will just help with the sewing process and maybe help to prolong the life of the garment. But one thing to bear in mind is that these are kind of general tips for sewing with linen. As I mentioned earlier, there's lots of different types of linen fabrics and especially thinking about the linen blends, you might need to do something a little bit different depending on which blend of fabric you're working with. For example, if you were working with the cotton canvas linen fabrics from Rifle Paper Company, I would use a stronger needle because the fabric is a heavier weight and you would require a heavier duty needle to get through it. So pre-washing. To be honest, you want to pre-wash whatever fa fabric you have before you sew with it, but I would definitely recommend that you pre-wash your linen because it does have a tendency to shrink a little bit. So you want to pre-wash it first to get out any of that shrinkage. Some people actually recommend pre-washing it more than once, but I only pre-washed mine once, so hopefully it'll be fine. In terms of cutting out, linen does have a really distinctive weave and texture, so that does actually help with the cutting out process. It should make those lines nice and easy to follow and help with finding the grain line and things like that. It's really important to follow the grain line when you're cutting out just so that your garment doesn't end up being distorted or stretched out. With linen, it's actually very difficult to tell the right and the wrong side. Obviously with some printed linens and things like that, there will be a very distinctive right and wrong side. But with this, for example, you could not tell the right and the wrong side of the fabric. So what I did at the cutting out stage was I decided which was my right and which was my wrong side. And I used a chalk to write on R and W for my right and wrong side on every pattern piece before I started sewing because it might be that in some lights or in the way that it hangs, you will actually be able to tell the difference. So if I'd used opposite sides, it might have become obvious. So it's important that you decide on your right and your wrong side at the start and you follow through with that throughout the sewing process. In terms of which needle and thread to use, I just used a universal needle, a size 70, and I used Gutterman Sewall polyester thread and I found they worked absolutely perfectly. In terms of seam finishes and hemming, so linen does have a loose weave and it tends to fray very easily. So it is really essential that you finish your seams and there are a few different ways that you can do that. You could use an overlocker or a serger, you may want to French seam your fabric. You could use pinking shears or you could use a bias bound 
seam finish and for hemming you'll want to probably do a double fold hem so that those raw edges are enclosed. If you've got seams that are going to come under a lot of tension, for example in trousers or jumpsuits, the crotch seam, you may want to sew over that with a couple of lines of stitching rather than just one just so that it is really secure and also when you're trimming down your seams you don't want to trim too close to the stitching line because as I said it does have a tendency to unravel and fray so you want to leave plenty of fabric next to the stitching line. And in terms of pressing, linen can have a bit of a tendency to scorch and to shine so you'll want to use a pressing cloth or you may want to do all of your pressing on the reverse of the fabric as well. To add further protection when pressing you may want to dampen your pressing cloth and this will also help to give crisper seams as well. So I hope those tips have come in useful and you'll find them beneficial when you come to sewing with linen. Now usually at this point in the video I would give some pattern recommendations for working with linen but basically linen is extremely versatile and especially when you think of all of those different blends of linens, all of the different varieties, pretty much you're going to be able to sew most woven patterns with linen or with a type of linen. So I'm not going to give you specific patterns right now because there's so many that you could use. Again, I'll direct you to my blog, which is the Linen Inspiration blog that I wrote for Lamazi, where I have given some ideas. I've taken some images from high street stores or from the catwalk, and I've paired them up with a pattern and given you an example of which type of linen I would use to sew that garment. So hopefully that will provide you with some inspiration. Thank you to Lamazi for providing this fabric. I've really enjoyed working with it. I loved sewing it up. As I mentioned, linen is a joy to sew with and I would highly recommend it. It has so many benefits as mentioned earlier and I would try and encourage you not to be put off by the slightly higher price point because the benefits do outweigh that. <laughs> But not all linen is really expensive and as you saw by looking through the 100 different types of linen on the Lamazi website or 100 listings on the Lamazi website there are lots of different prices that you can access so hopefully there is something for everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any more questions about sewing with linen or anything that you know, any tips that you've got then please leave them down below and they'll be there for other people to see which is fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, if you don't already subscribe I would love it if you could and you'll get to see more content from me. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and if you've maybe learned something new or discovered a tip that you didn't know already that would be great. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Happy sewing with linen! <laughs> Bye!